Hello and welcome to Technical Drawing Solutions. I'm DN Kamau. In this video, we are going to look at interpenetration surface development. And we are going to look at uh, equation extracted from uh, an egg past paper where we have been asked to develop uh, uh, a part of the interpenetration. So this question actually features two prisms, two square prisms that have been uh, have been connected together. Uh, therefore giving us that joint and we are going to focus on part A which incidentally will give us this uh, surface development. The question reads two square prisms are joined together as shown in figure 6. Draw the development of prism A. Um, and that carries 20 marks. So you will notice here this, uh, this is in red, uh, which means that uh, it has been edited. The actual question was asking us to develop the the prism B but we have changed that question to now uh, require us to do part A of it so what we are going to be concerned with is the development of this portion here which is uh, A prism So uh, the first thing to do here is actually to draw the plan. And uh, since this is the orientation of the plan, uh, this is a square of 30, 30, 30, 30 or through, uh, but it's on orientation such that it is laid at 45 degrees and 45 degrees on this other side. So uh, that is basically what you draw, place your T-square there, and then draw a 45 degrees line, draw a 45 degrees line, measure 30 millimeters and 30 millimeters, then move your T-square to that level and draw another 45 degrees, and another 45 degrees, and you'll be through with that. Notice that the diagonal here is 42. The, the, that is going to be helpful in uh, in getting some details which may not have been given. So once you are through with the plan here, then you need to project. Remember everything here should be in construction line. As always, we draw everything in construction line and then after you finish, uh, only the answer should be in finish line, in very bold lines. Uh, otherwise, we should have light lines which are not very visible. So project that line, project that one, and project this. Remember that this line carries one point. Yes, this line here carries two points, this one and that one. And this line carries one. So when we project, then we can say that is our base. Uh, you don't actually have to measure the base from from your plan. Uh, just put it at a convenient height. Yeah. In some instances, when we are using the crosshairs or the Cartesian plane, then we may measure from here to the Cartesian plane and the same distance from here to that object. So when we are not using the Cartesian plane, just uh, put it at a level that is reasonable. So once you have that base, 
you can measure the 90 millimeters that is given and you end up with uh, those rectangles over there. Next is for us to now uh, draw the interpenetrating uh, prism and uh, that is this prism over here. Uh, we have not been given the length of this prism. So we need to uh, look at the diagram uh, keenly and we shall see that uh, this line over here is the one that stops the prism. So if that is the case and we have been given this level here which is 15 and that this is 45 degrees so you simply measure 15 up to there and then with your uh, 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 with your measuring uh, instrument you'll measure 45 degrees and draw that construction line once you've drawn th that, that line then you can draw a parallel line at 42 millimeters. You remember this 42 over here, which is the diagonal. So this is also the diagonal. And we are told that those two prisms are uh, 30 millimeters prism, both of them. So the diagonal will just be the same. So you measure that diagonal over there and you draw this line. Where it hits the top line, that's where you terminate it. After terminating it, then you draw a 90 degrees line to come and connect the lower line and you will have positioned your interpen uh, interpenetrating prism. So once you are through with that, then your prism will hit uh, the standing prism at that point. Uh, that is point one hitting uh, point one hitting B, hitting that line B, point one there, and then point two and four will hit uh, A and C, C and A. Yeah? You can see this line is hitting uh, C, and this line is hitting A. So this line over here, we have uh, two on this side hitting and four on the other side, also hitting the other side. That is uh, important in as far as uh, the intersecting line is concerned. So next is for us to connect the, the lines of intersection. And the line of intersection is that one, uh, striking at that point and then connecting there and connecting here. Therefore, uh, we uh, have completed the connecting pris uh, prism together with its uh, connection here. So we uh, actually do not need this line, this inside line, because uh, um, the, the prism is now complete. So the next thing is to project lines, project lines from that prism. So the prism height is uh, from 2, 4 here up to that. So that's the height of the uh, of our prism, the connecting prism. And therefore we project that. And every connection at each level of connection also project at that level of connection also project. Then um, we need to decide where we are cutting our prism at so that we open it up. Yeah? And in this case, we are preferring to cut it at one. So if we cut it at one and we start opening it, we shall open one to two, and then two to three, and then three to four, and then four, two, one again. So notice that we shall uh, do one, one, two times. So we start with one, two, three, four, and then we go back to one. Now to locate 
the points of intersection, these points of intersection. We can see that one, one is connecting with B. One is connecting with, with B. So we look for line B, which is this one, this line B, and that is our first point. Then at two, we are seeing the connection at line C and A. C and A. So two, we shall have C here, and then at four also we shall have A here. Yes. So then we continue. How about three? Uh, the line three is from here up to B. So three goes back to B, and our B is going to be there. Yes. Then uh, the last one, of course, is the same point at B. So our B will be there. Let's look at the figure. So this is the shape of the figure. This is how it is going to be shaped. You can see clearly how it comes uh, a one at B, one at B, and then two, two at C, two at C, and four also at A, and uh, a and C are the same level, which is here, and then three at uh, B again. So uh, three uh, at B, and then we go back to uh, one, or we go to four, four at uh, C, four at C or A. Uh, four at A, and then one at uh, B. So that work is complete, and uh, this is uh, what you need to present, and therefore it should be in finish line. If this video was helpful, if you have gotten something from this video, please check down here and give it a thumbs up. You can share it with your friends and check whether you have subscribed. And if you need to get more videos from uh, this channel, then you can tick all for the notification. Thank you. Let's meet in the next video.